one friend that I failed to call was Chira. Because I was not able to Because I was not able to call her. The only friend that I regret to call her was Chira. It was Chira. Because I was not able to one day I called Chira and I said, Chira, what's up when I was sick? What's up when I was sick? I was sick. 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 Where is he right now? Where is Chira right now? You need to talk about Where is Chira? But I feel like if you are a good they give you everything, but they kill you. Your man has taken justice for Chira. You are going to kill Liza. How could I go to kill Liza? Taka taka. Marafiko kwa kwa kuran online, kupiga kelele online, wali wachira, wali mtuwala tuka sadaka, wakatumi ya mtu, ena muwe takulipa, umbu wa koko. Yomana sa kusikia kitinira justice for chira. Yomana sila kusikia yo kitu. Yonini mpikia simu, mwenika wabia chira. They will kill you, Chira. They will kill you. What a lawa, what toroka. Come on, woman. Toroka enda. They will look for reasons to kill you. Well, not to see with tea. Like him with his, my friend. Says him, Danganya. Says him, I'll be a wongo. Says him, I'll be a wongo. Da wambia mwiti, mwiti, wacha hii, baba, wacha nayo. Da wambia mwiti, wacha hii. Gireke is my friend, da wambia wacha hii. Atena na hii, kama ni meona hiki ni approach, chira ni limuambia kama nini. Limuambia kama ye. Nikambia chira, chira, they want to kill you, imagine. Wacha nayo, imagine wacha, wacha tu. Sayi hakuna evidence ya chira ni wawa na nani. But the marafiki wa kuapa kilo kuimba. Marafiki wa kuapa. Because walitaka femi ya keishe. Kwa chira ana usika. Baba atalisha na usika ni kasema ukweli. Ha usika. Ata hajui kenye na hapen. Na kuwabia ukweli. Marafiki zake wanapiga kelele justice for Chira. Ndio maana nimejitoa. Kamwa wacha niende njia yangu. I go my way. Sawa. Mimi stimu mpotea. Mimi naenda kulala. Wacha nilale. Lakini mtu mmoja anafaa kuheshimu kwa hiyo ni nyako. Hamda. Nyako. Wewe kama hiyo siku ya kufika ukaniheshimu utawai niheshimu kweli utawai niheshimu kweli uko au au utawai niheshimu so guys uh history ya Brian Chira tumeifuatia sana tumeifuatilia tumeisukuma na tukapata mpaka alleged murderers wako hapo nje mpaka organizers wa kuawa kwa Brian Chira unaona i'm just going to ask the government directly why is it that you're ignoring this story are you okay when our youth you know get killed and nothing is done the family of course which of course is the only grandmother who is trying to follow up this matter is not being you know hasted apparently there was yeah the police who was involved gave these pictures to one Fosti or Babatalisha famously known that and known as that on media okay again we have Zalek Momani out there who apparently happens to be the alleged murderer and nothing is being done so far I have tried to go the way to the DCI, you know, <clears throat> seeking for help, thinking that actually the government can look into this. Because I'm a concerned citizen. 
Branchia happened to be an orphan who was left by the mother when he was only six years old. And I feel so much frustrated because even the friends, for instance, Prince Muiti, they confirmed this. It was an organized matter. Peter Kiyoi confirms this. It was an organized murder. Yet a fundraising was done, which, of course, was used to cover money laundering that is going on on TikTok as we speak right now. I'm trying to wonder, <clears throat> how do we fight corruption? How do we stop economy sabotage if we will allow people to take lives of innocent young Kenyans and be able to carry out a money laundering Something that everyone can see, that clearly this is not a fundraising. But yet you maintain that to be okay. I am so much pissed off because clearly it shows. <clears throat> I would like anyone to explain to me, how come nowadays photographers, within, you know, within six months of work, they can buy a Porsche car? Mutu and Rudy just recently becomes on TikTok. They don't earn any revenue from TikTok. They are now purchasing an Audi. Tell me if this is not money laundering. Because it is pure money laundering. And it pisses me off most that actually some of the government parastatals or institutions know this. Who are these beneficiaries of money laundering in Kenya? And why is it that they are using young men and I will mention them. We have, T uh, we have Tizian, we have Papatalisha, we have Nyako, yeah? And so many are coming in using these people to launder money. So how safe is our economy? The president is trying to make jobs, trying to look for jobs here and there. We have floods, you're walking to country to country. But if the little money that we have actually is being messed up, if we cannot be trusted with the little that we have, even if we get these, you know, loans, a lot of it, if we can't utilize the little that we have, so what is assuring us that if we get the loans from the Chinese, we get the loans from the, U, uh, from the Americans, we get the loans from Europe? I'm just asking myself, so how safe is that money that you've been given as a loan, which you're supposed to return with an interest? So I will just ask this government to please look into this. This is not just a murder case. It is more than it looks like. And unfortunately, unfortunately, nothing has been done so far. Who gets knocked by the vehicle and yet the phones are accessed by people? Who gets knocked by a vehicle up to date? It's about now, you know, so many weeks, that vehicle has never been brought to book by the government or that motorbike. Nothing. No one has ever been questioned. Then you see these lump sums of money in the name of fundraising, which for sure we know well that cannot happen. Which for sure we know well that cannot happen. So today is Shira, an orphan. Right now, Peter Kyoi says, uh, I have said the truth. They killed him. I warned him. He never listened. They killed him. They tried to pay me 51000 to do the same thing. I refused. But they killed him either way. So why is the government so silent? Is it that they do not know what is happening on TikTok or what is happening? I'm really pissed off right now. Because for sure, this is not right. It is not right. It can never be right. Whether an orphan, everyone has a right to live. Born in Kenya, you are a citizen of this country. Okay? And you deserve to be in this country. You have to live. The only thing that we can agree to is a natural accident. Okay? Took your life. Old age. Okay? Took your life. Diseases. Unavoidable. Took your life. But somebody planning to kill you, so that they can be famous and have these monies, people funding death, so that that death can be used to pretend it's a fundraise in order for them to do money laundering. Please, I will just suggest and urge the Kenyan government, all the 
security institutions involved in this. Let us not ashamed ourselves to this level of playing blind. Let us not lower ourselves of being irresponsible. It's high time when such matters do occur, and I pray they don't. It's high time the DCIs, uh, the DCI, if NIS is needed as well, show us you are close as the lions of security, of investigations, and bring these murderers to book. Stop looking the other direction when you're needed the most. It's a shame. It's embarrassing. I don't know. You know, uh, initially we used to have cases whereby maybe the Tanzanian government, Ugandan government, would ask our abled DCI officers. Those times we used to have flying squad, we used to call them CID, you know, they would borrow our police officers to go and actually train their officers. I don't know if we still have the dignity. I don't know if we still have the respect. Because right now, things are happening in our country, serious things, and apparently, I don't know whether somebody's sleeping on the job, or you're just ignoring, or it's above you. So this is so much shameful to our country to our security authorities. I am talking of Chiloba, who was killed. I am talking of Jeff Muavi, who was killed. I am talking of Brian Chira, who was killed. All of these young men, energetic, out there trying to hustle out. They do not have jobs, they are doing their own thing. Chira was doing his own thing, Jeff Muavi his own thing, Chiloba, his own thing. But the murderers are out there being praised. When will this come to a halt? When will we have a sober security institutions that don't take life with ease? This is my message to Kenyans. Sometimes systems will fail us. At times. At times, most of the times, the systems will fail us. But I just want you to be careful. Take care of your kids. Try to train them. Not to trust anyone. Because apparently the system won't come to rescue us. Let us just be vigilant. Let us be on the lookout and be protective of our family members.